In today's video, we're playing with layers and we're gonna start right now. Hello everyone, I'm Rachel from Pencil Stash, your one-stop shop for everything adult coloring related. Thank you so much for joining me. Here we do demonstrations, tutorials, tips and tricks, etc. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button or the bell to get notified when I've uploaded new content. And stick around to the end of the video where I'll be announcing this week's featured work from our Facebook group and Instagram. If you haven't found us already, we're on Facebook at Pencil Stash Adult Coloring Group and on Instagram at hashtag Pencil Stash, where I invite you to upload your work to share with all of us. Today we'll be focusing on layering color and thanks for Rashmi who suggested this video topic in a YouTube comment because it is a great one. You'll see that in each element as we go through the page how I layer multiple colors on top of one another to give it more of a multi-dimensional and realistic feel. Now the page we're going to use to showcase this technique is from Romantic Country's Second Tale. I'm super excited because I pre-ordered this months ago and it showed up right after Christmas like an extra little present under the tree. I've been flipping through the pages since I got it and I finally decided that we were going to use the church page on our project today. I'm always drawn to pages with a lot of architectural charm and this one certainly has it in spades. Now because this is quite an involved page, we're actually going to turn this into a series to really do it justice. And today we're going to be focusing on the church facade, the doorway, and the windows, the stained glass windows. So let's head over to my desk and we'll get started. All right, so here's our unfinished page, and I just really like how adorable this church is. This video is all about layering, so I'm gonna show you what I do when I start to layer colors. And this is just a personal preference, but I always kind of start a little bit conservatively with my lightest color. And right now, I know it's sped up, but uh, just in, in interest of time, I'm basically taking my lightest gray and I'm just doing an entire foundational layer of, of that lightest gray because I don't want the, the church facade to be white. I do want it to have you know a little bit of a little bit of grit, you know, a little bit of gray. Now I'm taking the second darkest gray and I'm kind of starting my shadow layer. And you know, this probably isn't going to be the final sort of color, but I'm gonna build and build and build and kind of add a little bit of, you know, grime and, you know, watermarks and a little bit of shadows with all of these different grays. And the way that you kind of want to take a look at this is to find your light source and see what might be causing some shadows. So this is just going to sort of come with practice and you're going to have to just try it out and see what works. So like, for example, up in the eaves of this church, there's the overhang of the roof. So there's going to be some shadow underneath these eaves. So if you see, I've sort of started to put a little bit darker layer there. And then I'm also going to be adding some shadow layers on the facade itself. Not only shadow, but also like that's where like water collects, that's where, you know, some of the some of the water will pool and start to kind of come down the building. So that's where I'm gonna put that put that shadow. Now we're gonna start on our door, and I love this door, and I really want it to be a nice, warm wood tone. So the grays that I used here are sort of a warmer tone gray, and I want the door to be a warm toned wood, just to sort of bring some life to this church and make it, make it welcoming and inviting. So I'm actually taking my two darkest browns, and I'm just making a little bit of, of texture on the door to kind of give it that wood grain effect. And then I'm gonna take my sort of all over brown. And I'm just gonna make one nice layer um, on top of it. And then I'll go back in with my darker colors to, again, just sort of add, you know, a couple more lines of texture.
I'm gonna line uh, the individual planks just to show that there's you know a little bit of shadow in between each board. I'm gonna line the surrounding um, trim there as well in the same technique and uh, also just kind of kind of dirty up the bottom of the door too where it would kind of get the most wear and tear. And I'm gonna do the same on this sort of um, I don't even know what those are called. Up on up on the cupola, there's always like a little vent or something, and I've I've sort of made that the same warm wood tone. So you'll see I've gone back in with my grays and I'm adding a little bit more. So this is just my coloring style. I don't really like do the facade of the building and then and then move on and don't touch it again. I constantly revisit it because you know once I move on to something else, I can be a little bit more objective about what else might need to go on the facade, and I come back to it. And I might go back to the door, and I might go back to the church, and I might go back to the door. Um, and that's okay, you just you just keep working at it, you keep layering until you are a happy camper. Now I'm gonna do the stained glass windows, and I'm using two different greens just to give it a little bit of Again, oh, I'm sorry, I'm using three different greens to give it a little bit of texture and a little bit of uh, variation of color. So I'm layering and layering and layering. In the interior sections, I'm going to be layering a purple and a blue. I don't want to make it too muddy, so I sort of stuck with, you know, green, purple, and blue, just to give it a little bit of life, but again, just not to make it too muddy. Now I'm going in with my black to give the leaded outline uh, to separate the colors and on top I'm going to be adding one layer of my darkest gray to give it sort of a not so clean texture give it a little bit of a little bit of grit a little bit of wear and tear that wear and tear that makes our church so charming so my friends that is it for me today we'll cover more from our little church scene next week on Friday and I do hope that you enjoyed the video if you did leave me a like now on to our featured work for the week from Facebook and Instagram First up is this Instagram submission from Vanilla Honey 78 I just love the way these colors all work together, and girl, you've got more patience than I do. This page is so tiny and intricate, I really commend you for sticking with this. It's beautiful. Next is this cozy fireplace scene from Melody Jones via our Facebook group. I especially love how you colored the stones on the fireplace. Fantastic job. Next up is this sweet little bottle jungle scene from Jillian Horwath. Great job on your highlighted leaves and the cork. And finally, this cute little pup from Michelle Johnson Utter. This page is amazingly realistic and you can really see this doggy's soul through his eyes. Fantastic work, I always have a soft spot for doggy pictures. So great work everyone, keep it up. Keep submitting your work via our Facebook adult coloring group or the hashtag pencil stash. Also let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas for any future video topics. And if you have any questions on anything that you've seen here or anything adult coloring related, leave me a comment on YouTube. I'll certainly help if I can. Check out the rest of my YouTube tutorials via my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And you can also visit me on PencilStash.com to learn more about me, my projects, and my blog. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.